excited about creating your first page in Laravel? So watch the video till the end as we will be learning the basics of routing as well as creating a new page in this framework. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Neha from WebStack. Welcome to another episode on Laravel series. Before getting started, if you are new here, make sure you click on that big subscribe button and do hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from me. So let's get started and see how to create the very first page in Laravel. So firstly, I'll just open my CMD and then I'll uh, try to start running this project. So to run that project, I need to first go inside my project that is uh, Lara app. And after that, we already know that we need to run this command called php artisan serve, which will actually start the development server on that particular port that is 8000. So if I run this very particular uh, URL in the browser and if I just refresh this, so it will open the page saying this Laravel and these links below. So where is this page actually coming from? So if we check in Visual Studio Code, we have a directory called routes and inside it we have already discussed that all the routings we do for the web application are stored in web.php file. So in case you have not followed that video, you can find the link in the description box below or it is also on the screen. So before creating the page, uh, we need to first understand what this route file is containing. So if we check this route file that is web.php, then there is one route written inside it. As you can see here, we have route class inside it. We have a get method and then we have the URL and then a function which is actually returning something. So this function is called anonymous function which does not have any name. It gets called when this URL gets called on the browser. So this uh, anonymous function is returning a view called welcome. So this view method will actually return your view and by view we have already seen that whatever is getting displayed for the user on the browser that is known as a view page or a web page. So this is representing or returning a view called welcome. Now where is this welcome page stored? Certainly it is not inside this folder. So as we have already discussed in the last video that all the view pages get stored inside resources directory. So if we check inside resources, we have views and inside it we have welcome.blade.php. So if you check this file, you can find that Yes, whatever that page is getting displayed on the browser, yes, that's the same thing. So we are getting this links and we are getting Laravel as well. So now if I change this Laravel to something called Laravel demo page and let's see if I refresh the browser, so the changes gets reflected and yes, so the changes are there. That means the web.php route is taking this welcome.blade.php file which is actually returned. So if I want to go back to web.php file again, then I don't need to go to the directory again and just open that file. So instead of that, we can simply use a command called control P and you can simply search the file inside the search bar. So I can just simply write the name of the file called web php and press enter and it will open the file for you so isn't that amazing this is a feature provided by vs code and that's why i love it so if i go inside this route file and let's uh, take a look in this uh, routing the slash means this is a home path and this view is actually the file name but as you can see this file name is also containing the extension called dot blade dot php this is nothing but simply an extension and Blade is a templating engine that we use in Laravel. The engine will not see the extension. It will directly just take the name of the file and it will return that file. So it's 
that simple to create or to display a web page on the browser. Now let's try to make some changes in this file uh, web.php so as to understand what alterations can be done inside this routing. So if I just change this URL, let's say I want to display this page at slash home and if I refresh the page now, so I'm getting an error that is 404 page not found. So this means that the page is not there. That means welcome. Because there is a mismatch in the URL mapping, I have written here slash, where, uh, whereas it is expecting slash home. So if I write slash home, then only this welcome page will be returned. So let's check that. And yes, the welcome page is returned on this URL. So let's try to keep it as it is, that is slash. And now we shall try creating a new page and return it on a new URL. So I'm just copy pasting this route. And what you can do is you can just give a route here, like let me create a contact page. So I'll just write slash contact and it should return a contact view. So if I just uh, write that here, slash contact. So it's giving me an error called view contact not found. So this is a very, uh, you can say interactive way uh, in which Laravel provides you the errors so that it is readable. But one should get to know like how to read these errors and how to solve them. So that will come by time when you will be practicing it. So here it is saying view contact not found. We have not created this view instead. So let's try to create that view in this views folder. So let's just create a new file and name it as contact.blade.php. You can also give the name as simple contact.php if you want. But uh, we will be learning Blade in this uh, course because it's a templating engine that we use. And uh, whatever like the data we have to render on the web page, the dynamic data. So the Blade template will help us rendering that by using different syntaxes. So anyhow, we will be doing it later in the series. So let's first try to print something in this contact blade.php. I'll just uh, copy paste this page here and yeah, it's uh, being lazy, but uh, let's just try to remove this links and let's try to write here contact, oops, contact us page and then try to refresh the page again. And now it is displaying contact us page. That means what you need to do is uh, you need to create a new web page inside views directory and then you need to route it through your browser. Like you simply need to route this, uh, use this route class and then you need to write the get method. This is actually your HTTP method which you are using which tells you that you want to get a page or you want to get a data. And we use it whenever we are uh, requesting any page or any data on the browser we will be using this get method. So now the first parameter which it takes is the URL and then it takes an anonymous function which actually returns a view. Also it can return instead of view it can return a string or an object or an array, JSON object so it can return anything you want. So let's try to return a simple string here. Let's say hello contact. So if I write this uh, and you need to put a semicolon. So let's try to refresh the page. And yes, you have seen that there is a string, the hello contact. So now if I check this on the developer tools. So if you check this page and I just click on this network field and let's just refresh this page again. So there is a get request for contact page and if you click that, then you can check that inside this headers, you can see the content type is text slash HTML. So that means it is returning a data type string. Now if I want to return something like object, a JSON object, so I can simply write here an array. So we are creating a product repository in this uh, series as a project. 
So I'll just use the name of the product here and let's say it's a laptop and then I'll be using another name uh, or let's say the price. So I'll just write the price equals to 10,000 and then just save it. So now if I return this uh, here in the page, let's refresh. So it's returning a JSON data. And if you check this contact page uh, in this request, and you can see content type is written as application slash JSON. So that means you are returning an array, which is actually is transforming into JSON object by the browser. So yes, you can return a string, an object, or a JSON object as well. So let's just keep it as view for now. So let me write here view and then we are returning a contact view here. So oops, there is a problem. Yeah. So now we are returning simply a contact page. Now what I need to do is I need to provide a link there in the home page if I just click that. So I need to provide a link here to go to the contact page. So for that we just need to open this welcome page and here let's provide a link uh, underneath it underneath this division or before this division so let's say i need to provide a link for contact us here in below this so i'll be using h4 and then inside it let's use an anchor tag and then href this reference and then close this reference and also this h4 tag so let's write here contact us for more info so in the reference you need to write the url which you have routed inside this web.php that is slash contact actually so let's just write this here and let's check this out and yes i got the link oops it's uh, looking a bit weird and somewhat zoomed so you can just write it in a proper format of CSS and let's try to create it below this division. Yeah, so let's refresh this and yes, that's looking much appropriate. So contact us for more info. If I click on this, I'll be redirected to contact us page and look here that in the browser, it's redirecting to slash contact. So if you have not routed this URL in web.php, then it will surely give you an error. So let's try that and just go back, refresh. Let's click on the link one more time and it's saying, oops, page not found, that is 404 error. So this is coming because we have not routed this contact us page in the web.php file. So the very simple rule you need to follow is that every page you are displaying on the web uh, browser, you need to route that in this file called web.php. So that's it. This is all what you need to know about for creating a page in Laravel. And if you find it easy, please give the thumbs up in the comment section below that keeps me motivated. So here is a quick to do task for you guys that in this home page, create some more links for the new pages like you can create about us home page contact us and also like information page so just provide the links and route them to the new pages so that's it for this video guys if you like the content please give the thumbs up to this video so as it reaches out to all the learners out there and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't and please hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from me. So see you in the next video.